Okay, I'm back. Yeah, while I was shuffling, uh, I just did a little prayer. Um, one of the cards popped out. Uh, that's going to be the overall energy here, okay? But uh, essentially, the name of the, the little girl here, her name is Ariana Fitz. Um, I'm going to do my best to draw uh, cards for her story. Uh, I don't wish to, um, you know, uh, basically... Uh, be injurious in any way shape or form it's not my desire to be injurious in any way shape or form with the information that comes out i am an amateur reader this is for uh, entertainment and educational purposes only so um you know take what what fits and leave the rest okay i've never done a reading like this before but i was called to do this you know at least give it a shot okay so most high guy is this is a spirit Okay, so this has to do with the little girl. Her name is Ariana Fitz. I'm gonna try something new here. And I'm gonna see if we can, uh, I'm gonna try something new to see what, if there, there's a story, I don't know if I can get the story to her timeline or whatever, right? So card number one, this is going to be her life or, um, yeah, one, this is, uh, this is who she is. This is, wait, hold on, let me finish. I know I need five cards here <clears throat> to tell the whole story from front, from beginning to end. Okay. So this is the first card is going to be how it started. And each event is going to be subsequent all the way to the end, which is down here. So the very first card, it has to do uh, Field of Dreams here. The second card has to do with uh, Sad Embrace. The third is going to be uh, Magic Prayer. It's in reverse, but um, I don't do reversals with these cards because they're Oracle cards. <clears throat> Next, we have uh, One Ring Circus here. And last, we have Compass. Ooh. So the card that came up overall that has to do, we're gonna do uh, go with Field of Dreams first. Generally with Field of Dreams or whatever, uh, this give me the vibe of um, this is what happened in the beginning. Possibly could have been like a party or something like that, or some kind of gathering, a get together. Maybe some friends was together. Um, I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna look into the book because I generally don't go by the book meaning. But okay, so in the book, I'm going to read these cards in reverse here because I'm going by the book. That's what I'm gonna do. Just exactly the way that they have came out. That's how I'm gonna read. Them. Okay, so 21. This is the perfect time to harness and feel the vast potential not yet realized in your life. Great abundance is yours if, if you're willing to do the work alongside with gentle uh, gardener. Okay, yeah, this definitely has to do with, um, you know, in the beginning. Everything was going really well in the beginning. It looked like it was not just ariana but maybe like her mother and maybe like two other children or something another child or something like that uh the vibe i'm getting is that there were three people here okay that's the vibe that i'm getting here that uh it could have been another woman in, uh, that lived with them or something like that that's the vibe that i'm getting uh possibly um it gave me the vibe that everyday life was a certain kind of way like every day they uh pretty much you know there wasn't really no issues or problems or troubles or anything they got along well basically you know what i'm saying whoever this other person is that they live with or that live with them because i could see the mother and the child here but i don't know who this purple uh fairy is here uh the card that came up here is the two wands in reverse so it gives me the vibe of like maybe there was a breakup that happened um somebody <clears throat> somebody um like there was a breakup essentially here 
okay. Let's see what else we got here. Yeah, that's the vibe I definitely get. Like, there's like a breakup or something. That's the vibe that I get, like a breakup energy. Like, a, maybe there was a, a, a masculine or, I mean, it may not even be a masculine. But it just gave me the vibe that um, maybe the mom was in a relationship with someone. Or maybe uh, she was seeing somebody. Uh, or, you know. And it's, it's kind of hard to say everything that's going on because, you know, sometimes everybody has a secret life in a sense you know what i mean so she could have had like a boyfriend or something like that or or uh you know whatever right so let's find out what's going on here so with this two of sword wands here we have the three of cups here in reverse we have the nine of pentacles here yeah there was definitely some kind of third party energy or something that is involved with this there's, there's like a third person here somewhere. I don't know if investigators know about this or not, but there's definitely a small, there, there's a, there's a third person involved in this situation here. Like maybe they were, um, maybe this was a family dynamic or something like that, that, I mean, um, <clears throat> I'll put it like this. Maybe there was like, um, The vibe, basically the vibe that I'm getting is that there were multiple people around and when, whenever this first started, maybe even earlier that day or something like that, there was multiple people involved in the situation, however this unfolded, okay? And it looks like, like maybe the mother broke up with someone, decided to go her separate way from someone or something like that. And because of that, because of that, you got this, uh, Three of Cup energy here. Like, Three of Cups, generally, like, when you have Three of Cups and the upright, it has to do, like, with, like, partying and stuff like that. So maybe there was a party or something, and then the party was over, and somebody, like, made some kind of offer towards this mother or something like that. Or maybe there was, like, some kind of, um, like, the vibe I'm getting is, like, uh, after something was over, something ended here something was over whether it was like a party a get together or something like that there was this knight of pentacles here this knight of pentacle energy it gives me the vibe of somebody who a pro who had been watching her for a while that chose to approach in some way shape or form okay it may it may not have been a stalker but the vibe that i'm getting here is that there was some kind of um offer that somebody came in to make to her and they, they pay real close attention to, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't just like some raggedy ass offer. This was something well thought out, okay? So let's see what this has to do, let's see. Yeah, okay, so with that offer, it looks like, um, you know, it was gonna lead to somebody 10 of cups or whatever it may be. So yeah, it looks like, you know, maybe it was money, maybe it was something. Uh, that maybe it was like some kind of monetary offer or something like that, right? And, or it could have even been like a, I don't know if about a marriage yet. I, that's just too soon to say because of the cards that's, that's out that's showing right now. But I am seeing that it was supposed to lead to something to make her happy or something like maybe it was like uh, somebody, um, making a move on her or something or somebody that she had like a crush on or something or you know what i'm saying or maybe she was trying to break up and leave someone but they came in with some kind of offer to try to keep her invested the mother okay and with this mother uh maybe they uh tried to um come in with the with uh that image or imagery of trying to be like a happy family is the vibe i'm getting here with this ten of cups energy it was, it gave me the vibe of somebody trying to make them into a happy family, right? And then you have the hangman in, in the reverse here. So yeah, it's like this person, this, her mother didn't see all the details of what was really going on with this person. You know what I'm saying? Either that or it was like, uh, hold on just a second. Okay, so 
Yeah, usually the hangman, it has to do with like making sacrifices and stuff like that. But, um, yeah. It looks like she was trying, maybe she was trying to get away from somebody. Somebody who was really obsessed with her. Okay. It was like, there, it was, it was like, whoever this person was that the mother knew, it was kind of like they were delaying her in some kind of way, or they were trying to keep her from being happy, uh, not necessarily keep her from being happy, but it, it's kind of like they was trying to like delay her or something like that. And the vibe that I'm getting here with the seven of, seven of uh, cups, every seven of cups and the death slot, it has to do with uh, some kind of illusion so yeah, somebody, somebody, whoever this person is, they definitely came in with this illusion, but the mother knew that this person wasn't good for her, okay? So essentially what she was trying to do is trying to get out of this, whatever it was. This could, you know, because of the other cards that came up, like the sad embrace, the uh, magic prayer in reverse and stuff like that, it gives me the vibe of uh, definitely somebody who is like very obsessive, okay? Because generally, when you have a narcissistic person, they try to isolate you from everybody else, which is why you have this sad embrace energy, right? So let's see what else we got here. Yeah, you got the sun card in reverse here, okay? So the mother was feeling kind of pessimistic. It's like she was down. It's, it gave me the vibe of her being like um, abused or oppressed. Whoever this person that she was in, this, you know, who she was trying, it looked like she was trying to get away from someone. Yeah, she was trying to get away from somebody. Whoever this person, it's like she was in, maybe she was in a relationship with somebody or she was just trying, really trying to get away from somebody. But it's like she was pessimistic. She didn't, she thought that she would never be able to get away from whoever this person was, whoever they was. Because they always came in, everybody saw this person as the king of cups here. You see what I'm saying? This person, they always, whoever this person is, they see this person as somebody who's really empathetic and always trying to take care of her and all this other stuff. But it looks like this, this person probably tried to make an offer to her that she probably turned it down. You see what I'm saying? So let's see what else you got. Yeah, you got the Ace of Cups here, yeah. So yeah, cause the plan was to come in and be all, uh, you know, because the mother was probably in a dark place at the time or whatever it may be, but there was somebody out here who was trying to like make her some kind of offer or something like that, right? Yeah. And because of that, you know, she, uh, you know, and at some, at some point, you know, she did like this guy, whoever this person was, she did like this guy. It looked like she didn't see herself in this, in the right light, you know what I mean, essentially, but she did want to be happy here. Okay. But there was some illusions or something. There was something, some kind of mind game or something that, or something was playing tricks in her mind or something like that to keep her from seeing the truth about somebody or a situation. So she could be like, a, she could have been one of those people who were depressed, you know what I'm saying? Or struggled with depression. Because if she struggled with depression, that's why the sun card is in reverse. So next, we had the moon card out here. So whoever uh, she was trying to get away from, they had a secret, essentially is what happened here. Okay, they have some kind of secret or something like that, right? So that's what happened in the beginning. <clears throat> now, let's see. Uh, we have Sad Embrace, okay? Well, Sad Embrace, that give me the vibe of somebody who feels like isolated, alone, like it's only them. You know what I mean? Like, you know, essentially... You know, this happens when you have like a abuse, like children feel isolated from everyone, especially when there's an like abusive, um, an abusive home setting is the vibe I'm getting. I'm definitely picking up on like a abusive, like home setting basically. And I'm thinking like maybe the mother was getting jumped on or beat on at night and stuff like that. And, um, maybe Ariana knew about it or she heard about it or something like that. Or she, it's like intuitive, she knew what was going on. She knew that whatever was going on, it was hurting her mother or whatever it may be, okay? So let's see what else we can do. Uh, 
Okay. Let's see what else we got here. Okay. So with the sad embrace energy, it gave me the vibe of, uh, like I said, like feeling alone, isolated. I wonder if this mother, like uh, maybe was on the last strike with the rest of the family or something like that. She could have been on good terms or she probably just had her flaws and it was, well, you know, give me the vibe of her being the only person that she could depend on in a sense and her, you know, being tired. So let's see what's happening in the second part. So after that, there's this King of Wands out here. I mean, King of Swords out here, right? Essentially, with this King of Swords out here, it gave me the vibe of possibly um, somebody in the justice system. This could be like a judge, essentially, right? This could definitely be like a judge. Maybe there was a divorce that they went through or something like that. Maybe there was a, a, a divorce. Well, I can't really say it was a, a divorce, a divorce, because, I, you know, my two of cups didn't come out in reverse or my lover's card didn't come out in reverse. But I'm definitely seeing somebody who... Um, somebody with some kind of power and or authority here okay so let's see what's going on with this right here so it looks like she met somebody new after that right this is somebody with uh possibly uh a, a, a job with a um i want to say this person has like a reputation in a sense it give me the vibe of like a uh, it could be like a police officer, could be like a, uh, you know, a judge. This is somebody with an authoritative role at, uh, at work. Uh, this is definitely a good job. This is a career-based job, okay? And what I'm seeing here is that whoever she met after this, they made her feel really good. She was optimistic about life all over again. It's, it brought life back into her life. Okay, and she was just obsessed with this person, right? Whoever this man was or is, right? Yeah, <clears throat> so with the Knight of Swords out here, uh, you got the Knight of Swords energy out here and the uh, wolves to come that was new. It looks like that this person was um, thinking about moving towards her or making some kind of plans with her or they were going to make some plans together. Something impulsive, something really quick. It gave me the vibe of like moving to like Vegas and getting married or something like that. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, is that, you know, they didn't have any money, though. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <clears throat> money was really hard to come by for uh, for her and this person, whoever they may be. Okay, uh, the ten of, with the ten of pentacles in reverse here. Okay, so whoever this person was, it's like they were struggling for money, or they or she could have been struggling for money, which is why she didn't go to make a love offer towards this person or go towards this person that made her feel good or whatever. It's kind of like she just kind of like watched this person or something like that. Is the vibe I'm getting here? Yeah. And then you have the Hermit card in reverse in the de in a death slot. Um, <clears throat> so essentially, you know, with her not being able to have anything to offer this person, it was kind of like, um, she just kind of stayed in her head about everything, basically. Yeah. This is something she kind of like kept to herself about this person that she had like this crush on or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, she didn't have any money. She figured he was a prestigious person or something like that. And, you know, maybe it wouldn't work because of, you know, her not being able to, you know, provide or something like or You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Let's see. You got the hermit. Yeah. Yeah. With the hermit card in reverse, it gives me the vibe of, uh, you know, definitely like her being like um yeah her needing to come out and her needing to make a move or come out you know what i'm saying or whatever whatever situation she was in you know it looks like that she was depressed but she found somebody that she really liked or loved or you know what i'm saying was infatuated with or really you know what i'm saying but she didn't have that much money and stuff like that she didn't have much or anything she really didn't have anything to offer this person you know what i'm saying so um let's see what happened here so yeah, with the magician here and the uh, 
in the with the magician in the fire slot that gives me the vibe of her trying to like whoever this it's like she was trying to make something work it's like she was like pull pulling her resources together to make something happen here okay it definitely gave me the vibes the ver uh the vibe of uh trying to pull together like or get everything that you could to pull together to put it all together you know what i'm saying for something let's see what this is and then you got justice out here okay so the justice card out here the plan here was uh fairness something about being fair okay or balancing something out it's like she was trying to make something right here probably even had something to do with the justice system here whether it was uh pursuing like uh rights for the child or something like that um you know <clears throat> this is starting to look more and more like a, a court situation here yeah with her pulling all her resources together and her seeking justice here right it looked like somebody had did something unjust to her and she was trying to balance it out but she didn't have that much money here yeah and then you got the two of wands out here again so with that two of wands out here that definitely gave me the vibe of like another like a breakup or something like that or it could have been like uh maybe this was like a boyfriend and a girlfriend breaking up or her going her own separate way it definitely gave me the vibe of like um yeah like she split apart from somebody this this mother broke up with somebody this this all of this here could have been happening over a breakup is the vibe i'm getting here you got the hierophant in reverse here yeah it looked like the, it was it was like the mother ended up the way that she ended up all over a breakup is the vibe i'm getting here okay so now that we know that I'm going to just see if we can find out where this child is at. I think I got, I think I got plenty of information about that. It's kind of like the mom was like breaking up with somebody or something like that. Um, maybe the person was obsessed with her or she was obsessed with them or however it may turn out, you know. Or maybe she didn't want that guy, someone to break up with her. She stalked him or something. Or, you know, some that's the vibe I'm getting. But as of right now, I just want to know where the child is. So. It's revealed to me where the child is. I got the five of pentacles here, the six of pentacles in reverse, and the strength card here. I wonder if this child was adopted by somebody. It looked like somebody adopted this child. That's the vibe that I'm really getting here because with this seven, with this five of pentacles being left out in the cold, it gave me the vibe of like an orphanage or something like that. And the Six of Pentacles here, it means accepting charity versus like, because you know, with the Six of Pentacles, your finances are balanced. But this gives me the vibe of accepting charity or a charitable organization. And then you got the Strength card here. It gives me the vibe of, you know, pretty much the child spirit. So yeah, this child, the vibe I'm getting is that this child is in a, in a foster care system or somebody tried to adopt her. She's with somebody. Let's see who this is. Oh, okay. So you got the Ten of Wands here, the Four of Wands here, and the Ace of Pentacles here. I wonder if this child is in a prostitution ring. That's what I'm that's what I'm wondering. Because you got the Ace of Pentacles here. You got the four swords here, and you got the ten of swords here, right? This is like hard back-breaking work, 
but the vibe I'm getting is that you're on your back and you're resting at the same time. That give me the vibe of um, like prostitution or something like that. Like the child was is being uh, used for prostitution somewhere. So the child is alive, but it looks like this this child has been involved is is trapped in like a human sex trafficking ring or something like that. Let's see what else comes out. Okay, so there's a woman involved with this here too. There's a bitter woman that's involved. It looked like there there could possibly be like this, this, this water sign woman that's involved behind all of this, who didn't want to let something go to rest. Like there's this woman who's still bitter about what the mother did to her or uh, something that this, this child's mom did. She's still bitter about it whoever she is. So maybe the mother cheated on somebody or was, uh, you know, maybe she got caught cheating with somebody and caused a divorce or something like that. And maybe the wife came back. But the vibe that I'm getting here is that definitely there is some kind of woman behind this. And what she's doing is that she's, um, yeah, that's the vibe that I'm getting here. It's like sex work. And this, that's the vibe that I'm getting. And the only reason why I got it like that is because you got the Ten of Pentacles here. or And, and it may not even be sex work. It could just be child uh, slavery work. You know what I'm saying? But I'm, you know, with that Four Swords here and this Ten of Wands here, that's the vibe that I get. I just get that vibe that, you know, they got this child doing some kind of labor, hard, intense labor. Yeah. But it involves her being in like a bed or a bedroom, laying on her back, making money or something like that. That's the vibe that I'm getting because I don't see any death card energy out here. Okay. Wow. I don't know why this, let's see, left out on the cold, homeless, accepting charity, living out on the street. That's the vibe I'm getting like somebody's out living on the street. I don't know if this is if this is child or if there's if the child is with a woman who's living out on the street accepting charity, like a, a, and this maybe it's this woman who's actually is a prostitute who's sleeping. You know what I'm saying? Trying to you know, but I also definitely see like this bitter woman who can't let go of the past and don't want to start over new, who don't want to change you know change things around or something like that. Or let something go. Somebody out here with a grudge is the vibe I'm getting here. You got the Queen of Wands out here. You got the uh, the Seven of Pentacles out here and the Lover's Card in reverse. Yeah, there was definitely some kind of divorce here. This Queen of Swords energy has to do with like this bitter woman who, um, yeah. Yeah, okay, so this Queen of Cups here, could be this child where you know her her innocence was taken from her is the vibe that i'm getting here with this queen of cups like somebody tried uh, the vibe i'm getting that someone like robbed her of her light or something uh, it's it's kind of weird here it's it's really weird because i'm seeing what i'm really seeing is like it's a it's a woman involved with this some kind of way remember i told you it was like a third party situation where at first there was like a lot of a lot of like hanging out and partying and stuff like that and you know all of a sudden she was trying to leave like a group or something like that or separate herself from someone or whatever it may be maybe it was a friend of hers that she called herself not being friends with anymore yeah <sighs> let me see here Hang on just a second. Yeah. 
The vibe I'm definitely getting is that somebody got her work, got them working, got her working for them. Somebody got this child working for her, for them. Like I was saying before. And whoever this woman is that, that she's been working for, it could be sex trade. Uh, it could be uh, some kind of like work. It's, it's work though. It's intense work is that what they got this girl doing, okay? And then you have the Six of Cups, this uh, Queen, Six of Cups in reverse, Queen of Cups in reverse, and the World card in reverse. Yeah, the vibe that I'm getting is that, you know, whoever it is, they're trying to keep her from uh, knowing about what happened in the past so that she won't leave this system or the cycles. They probably got her fooled into believing that she belonged with them. Whoever, whoever has her got her fooled into believing that they are her family or whatever it may be. And they got her doing all kind of like hard work and stuff like that. They got her working extra hard. Yeah. And then you got the Queen of Swords out here. Queen of Swords in reverse, the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, and the Lover's card in reverse. Yeah. So basically, it's kind of like the vibe I'm getting is that the love is one-sided like they you know like she may be in love with whoever has captured her or has her she's in love with this person and this person could be like uh the vibe i'm getting with the lovers in reverse um yeah or you know what because there's multiple readings multiple meanings for this. the vibe i'm getting here is like with this queen of swords this has to do with somebody who who it like is really mean with their words. This is somebody who's really abusive with their words, okay? And this person is trying to make it where is basically engineering this child to fail at walking away. This child is is being like a fool, basically. And you got the seven pinnacles in reverse. So basically when this child do things to try to bring up their own self-esteem and stuff like that, this person used their words to try to break them down and to keep them from seeing uh, her worth. And then you got this, the lover's card in reverse here. So um, the vibe that I'm getting here is that they don't, they're trying to keep this child from leaving, basically. Whoever this is, they're trying to keep this child from leaving. Okay. Uh, so yes, this child, the vibe I'm getting is that this child is a lie, but somebody has been using this child to do like work and labor and stuff like that. Um, I'm not sure. I wanted to say that it was sex work because you got the 10 of wands and you have the um, four of swords, but the knight of wands didn't show up, which implies uh, impulsive sexual or, you know what I'm saying? Impulsive sex and stuff like that. You know what I mean? But I do see with this four swords that this person is laying in the bed. And generally when they're laying in the bed, they're like wishing for things to happen or whatever. Or they pretty much are inactive or something like that. You know what I'm saying? So they got maybe, maybe they're pretending to be sick or something like that. And they got this child out here working really hard to bring in money. But with this ace of pentacles out here, this is a nice amount of money. So for a child to be trying to bring in that kind of money, the only thing I can say would be like uh, some some form of like uh, sexual misconduct in some kind of way. So let's see what we can, let's see what else. Ancestors and spirit guides, I ask that you can give advice to the investigators on these things. Ask that you bless aware advice. What advice would you give to the uh, investigators? this space okay so they advice the best advice i can give right now oh, yeah. you got the two of swords out here you got the king of cups in reverse and you got the two of pinnacles out here in reverse there's this uh king of cups out here an emotionally manipulative man okay that has a decision to make. And it's about this money that's been coming in. Okay. I don't know. Maybe the money slowed down. Something came up. But the vibe I'm getting is that the money that this person was once making off of this person, this girl, 
they're not making it anymore and now they're trying to decide what to do next with this child. Yeah. You have the four wands out here. You have the page of, um, I mean, you have the uh, four cups in reverse and you have the page of wands in reverse. Something failed here involving a home situation here. It looked like somebody is trying to mind their, somebody knows something about this situation. If, if I were you, it has something to do about where, they, where this girl was living, okay? Whoever this mother was living with, that home situation, wherever they call it home, there's somebody here who was trying to uh, mind their own business here. Eventually, that's what's going on here. Somebody here was trying to mind their own, they're minding their own business, basically, is what they, what the vibe that I'm getting here. But with the page of wands in reverse, this has to do with something not coming into fruition here. Something failing. Let's see what, what this is. Yeah. So basically, with. Yeah, something. There's something about that house that's got to be investigated or where uh, Ariana mother lived or where she was partying or where her friend or where they stayed. There's something about where they stayed. Something about where they stayed, okay? And also with the page of wands here about the whole failure thing that like something, something failed, okay? Somebody's trying, somebody, it looked like somebody had made a plan or had plotted against her. Remember I told you that somebody kind of like was stalking her or decided to make like this calculated move towards her. It was like a plan that was all plotted out for the mother. Essentially, whatever happened, it failed. And now somebody is trying to, uh, you know, pretend like it never happened in this home situation, right? Yeah. You got the um, Three of Pentacles here. You got the Ace of Swords, Ace of uh, Ace of uh, Swords here, and you got the Sun card here, right? So I'm getting the vibe that somebody was optimistic about um, some kind of clarification about a breakup or something like that about this um, this 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 dismantling of friendship here. Like what? Like I don't know why, but I'm just being told that. Me saying that alone shed it light on somebody's mind or it, it improved the clarity about something about this case, essentially. About somebody, about this friendship circle or this these people breaking up or this woman not being friends with somebody no more or walking away or whatever it may be, okay? Let's see what else we can get out here. What other information we can get out here? Okay. And please be uh, just uh, work with me because I never did anything like this before. This is all new. You know, I pray that everything goes well. You know what I mean? But the vibe that I'm getting here is definitely like there's there's some there's other players involved here. Okay, there's some other players involved here. There was like there was somebody who's like envious or not necessarily envious. But maybe there was like a someone envious or jealous of like the daughter or the mother or something like that. Um, you know, the vibe that I get is that there's a male out here, a King of Cups in reverse, who's trying to make some kind of decision or trying to decide what to do about their money situation here. Or how to maintain the balance of this money. Because they've been using this child like the vibe I'm getting is that whoever this child is that they uh Ariana it looked like they were like using her in some way shape or form to get money they were using her to get money some kind of way you know they could have sold her uh you know what I'm saying I don't see any death energy out here though okay so it doesn't look like she's dead okay but it does look like there's a lot of um confusing energy out here 
especially around this home life situation. Like somebody trying to pretend like they don't know what happened or what was going on in this home life situation. But it looked like somebody found out that that person was lying and that the truth is coming out about this person knowing more about this home situation than what they led on because of how this whole breakup shit happened, okay? Let's see about this person minding their own business. Okay, so this person who was minding their own business, basically they didn't want to get involved in the situation is what I'm seeing here. It's kind of like happy, um, happiness is bliss when you're not involved in it, but it's kind of like they still manipulated two people against each other. You see what I'm saying? The vibe that I'm getting is that there, there's definitely three people involved. Well, there's, I believe, like three adults involved in this situation here. And one person put those other two adults against each other. Some kind of way, shape, or form. Some way, shape, or form. Somebody here put whoever... It, was, it's a, it had to do with a woman. A woman put them against each other. And it looked like that woman took that child, Ariana. And probably got Ariana fooled into believing that that's her mother. Or trying to fool her into believing that that's her mother. Some kind of way they're trying to get money off of this girl here. Okay, I'm going to go back to my oracles and see what they, they have to say. Because this five of pentacles, five of wands here has to do with uh, not wanting to fight. And this... Ten of Pentacles have to do with like a happy family. Like maybe this is somebody's wife. Like maybe uh, Ariana and her mom was living with like another family or something like that. And maybe the, her and the father got into it or something like that. Or her and the mother got into it. And the father is just like, well, you know, I'm not going to get involved with that. Or the wife, uh, you know what I'm saying? Whoever she lived, whoever she lived with, that's where you need to go to get more information and clues here. You got the magic prayer here, uh, number 32. Speak your prayers, listen for answers, act in faith. When you see the magic prayer card, it is a reminder that your prayers will be answered. Uh, let's see, we got it in reverse here. Self will that goes unchecked can bring difficulties. Reverse, magic prayer card is a sign that you mistakenly believe that your way is the only one. Could, could the path you're on be leading you to a place of regret? Or could you be pursuing something that isn't that just isn't good for you? So yeah, it's possible that the mother was uh, pursuing something that wasn't good for her. Okay? Like I was saying before, and then you got the uh, one ring circus in reverse, which is number 15. I'm gonna look at that, hold on. If you think that the sun will rise without you, then it's time to change. Perhaps you believe no one will be there to help you or you expect that you have to do all the work, emotional or otherwise. This is a fear-based idea that only serves to, serves to alienate you from others by taking away their right to participate. So the vibe that I'm getting here is that this mother thought that she had to do everything on her own. It could have even involved like a, um, you know, another spouse or something like that. Her believing that she was the only one who had, to, who could do, like she had to do everything on her own, trying to take everything into her own hands about what, you know what I'm saying? Feeling isolated, like I was saying before. Yeah, it looked like the mother was, vibe I get is like, maybe she was like, uh, you know, looking for financial help or something, some kind of way or something like that, you know. Uh, let's see what else we got here. And then we got this home situation here. And this is a spirit here. home situation here
Okay, so with this home situation here, like there was some, there was a, the vibe I'm getting is that this home, it looked like she was trying to like heal or that, you know, the home was taken care of for the most part. This was a good environment for her, but you know, she has some healing work to do that she was putting off essentially. And that, uh, like I was saying before, like she felt like she had to do everything herself. You know what I'm saying? So maybe that's what it is. Maybe she felt like, maybe she was in a uh, relationship with somebody who uh, she felt like she had to do everything on her own. And as a result, wouldn't let the other spouse see the child. You know what I mean? But that's all the information that I could give or all the, uh, as far as I could get into this uh, situation. Um, if anything else come up, uh, you know, I'll definitely give it a try. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, I'm still an amateur reader, but, um, I don't know, man. It was just something about that case that just, it was just, it's, it's, it's odd, you know, for the mother to be, because essentially what happened was the mother was found. Uh, they found her in a park buried, but they didn't find the daughter. You know what I'm saying? So that gave me the vibe that somebody close to her definitely did something to her. Because usually when something like that happens, the child, you know what I'm saying, either run away or, or usually, you know, cr there's criminals out here who would like, you know, outright like hurt the child in some kind of way, keep, a, keep from having a witness. But because this child never showed back up, that gave me the vibe that this child is still alive. But under a false disguise, like kind of like, you know, this child is uh, under the disguise that this, 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 uh, that somebody is not their parent or something like that. Or, you know what I'm saying? Let's see what's going on here. Yeah. We got the justice card in reverse here. So the vibe that I get here is kind of like there was something unfair going on here. Something that wasn't right. Okay. The whole situation here right now is that there was some kind of victory or there's some kind of uh there was some kind of um energy of like um uh, fast movement whatever happened it happened really fast like maybe they moved away really fast yeah but you know whatever plans that they had was ruined Okay, this person probably tried to move or something like that really, really fast. And then they got caught up with something or something happened here. Yeah, and then you have the Page of Pentacles out here. And give me the vibe that uh, something didn't get off. Something that they planned didn't, uh, didn't get off. You know what I'm saying? It didn't happen the way it was planned. Something didn't go as planned. Okay, so somebody is still stuck in this energy. Wherever they are, this person is still stuck. Okay, there's still stagnated uh, energy around this case because whoever did this or wherever this child is, that person wasn't able to uh, execute the second part of their plan or whatever it was. So they had to settle for something here. That's the vibe that I'm getting. Yeah, and whoever this is emotionally, they're all this road, they're distorted. It's kind of like uh, their emotions are, are thrown off or something like that. So, uh, yeah, I did the best that I could with that reading. Um, I don't know. I just, uh, I'm going to pray for the family that everything goes well. Because, um, you know, like I said, I'm an amateur reader. My skills only go so far, so... But I am definitely going to pray for that baby and make sure, you know, pray that um, that child gets found at least and that everything is well and that, you know what I mean? Like there is no trauma or anything like that. You know what I mean? And, you know, because when you deal with stuff like that, sometimes people like if it really happened the way that people say it happened sometimes, they give me the vibe that like, you know, Sometimes people uh, do impulsive things in front of a child without um, thinking, okay? Huh. I did not pull an animal card, so let me see what we got here. 
we got the elephant here. So essentially what the elephant means is basically it's kind of like uh, the energy of uh, being really strong in a spiritual realm. Whoever this person is, they might be experiencing weaknesses. Whoever, wherever she is, the person that she's with is probably sick. That person is probably sick, which is the reason why they got her working as hard as they got her working. Like I said, it may not be sex work, okay? But I did see somebody laying in the bed. So with that being said, whoever this person is, they could be sick or bedridden. And this girl probably has to take care of them. This girl that they had stolen, Ariana, possibly, okay? All right, I love y'all. Y'all take it easy. Um, hopefully that helped and uh, peace.